How's it going everyone? Javita here with a rather interesting look into the Gathering Epic and actually turns out luck as well. So there's been a number of concerns from players on the forums is like, is the Gathering Epic broken or something? It just doesn't seem to be doing as much as it should be doing. If you come over here and read the description of the Gathering Epic, you'll probably get a decent idea of why they're having uh, such concern over the results that they're getting. But if you read this, it increases drop chance from plants, boulders, and fungus, basically uh, all surface resources, by two times. And unlocks the ability to dig up plants and all that stuff as a placeable object. So at first glance, it's like, wow, two times the drops. So it's like, well, OK, for one thing, it's not two times the drops. It's two times the drop chance. So if you only have a 20 percent chance of getting, say, an orb that, you know, it's going to be 40 percent chance to get an orb. So it's not going to even guarantee that you get an extra orb. But there's another component to this issue that previously you know, was not very obvious at all. And that is luck up above. So the description of luck states that it increases the chance of rare drops from blocks and creatures. So reading that, it sounds like, okay, you're gonna get extra sap from trunks and extra eyeballs, trophies, and things like that from creatures. It doesn't say anything about surface resources and spoiler alert, it affects surface resources. So luck basically affects everything. So what I did is I went out and I gathered 2,000 desert swords on live to conduct an experiment. And then just the other day, they released the new testing version that has the give menu. So it made it really simple. I could just give myself all of the stuff I could possibly want. So basically what I did is I did four tests for both desert swords and uh, the glowing mushrooms or glowing caps or whatever they're called now the things that give shimmering orbs as well as fibrous leaves and so I did a test with no skills a test with maximum luck and a test with just the gathering epic and then finally a test with all of it combined together so long story short it all helps so if we come over here, I set up this kind of rudimentary spreadsheet here. So we have Desert Sword and all of its drops, Glow Caps and all of its drops. And then down here, it's just the drop percentages. Up here is the hard numbers of what actually dropped, as well as the percent increase given by these different things. So we have No Skills, Gathering Epic, Max Luck, and then both of them combined together. So as you can see, the Gathering Epic is a nice investment or a nice improvement. We got average of 33% increase. Uh, the Shimmering Orbs are kind of interesting because they get such a large boost compared to everything else. They get a 60% extra effect from the Gathering Epic and then another 70% from having luck. But then you come over here, you only get 77% for having all of it together. So that's a little bit uh, interesting right there. So taking a look at Desert Sword and Earth Yams and Fibrous Leaves, you can see that they mirror each other pretty closely. They both started in the 130s and then they go up to kind of the 160-ish area, 180s, and then finally 200. So a little bit of clarification, 200, that means it's going to drop two every single time. So I literally harvest a thousand Desert Sword and I came up with 2,000 Earth Yams, 2,000 Fibrous Leaves, and then what, 672 Spicy Beans. And so that's pretty interesting. So as you can see, there's a pretty nice progression or increase between the different abilities. One thing I do want to call out is that this column is the Gathering Epic only and this is Luck only. Uh, so while luck is more effective, it's kind of to be expected because in order to get maximum luck, it's a 13 skill point investment versus the Gathering Epic, which is only a five point investment. So for 13 points, it better be doing uh, better than the Epic. And this actually got me a little bit suspicious as to whether or not the Gathering Epic would also affect the drops from blocks. I went out and gathered about 3,000 leaves with and without the Gathering Epic, and I really could see no appreciable difference that was hovering around in about the, the 26 to 30% chance to get uh, star berries on the particular planet that was on. So uh, ironically, I <laughs> both times I got more 
uh, Starberries without the Gathering Epic than when I had it, but they were all pretty close to each other, so I'm just going to chalk that up to RNG, basically. So how the game appears to be calculating the drop rate is to calculate the bonus for the epic and the luck separately based off of the base value. So in other words, uh, these aren't going to synergize together. The epic and the luck are not going to synergize in that it's not going to increase, like say the gathering epic is going to increase the drop rate and then the luck is going to come in and modify that already increased value for an even larger effect. That's just the... That is just not the way it works. Uh, so basically it comes down here and it figures, okay, here's the bonus from the Epic. Here's the bonus from the Luck. Adds it all together to get this 190 and which is reflected nicely over here in my test results. So, and coming down here, hopefully this will explain a little bit better why the Gathering Epic seems so puny at times. So we're looking at Glowing Lamella, which comes from Glow Caps. The base chance to get this with no skills is 126%. That means you're always going to get at least one Lamella, and then you have a 26% chance to get an additional Lamella. So basically, you can throw out that one and just treat this as being 26, and how the game at least appears to calculate this from my perspective is that it calculates the epic and the luck completely separately. So it's going to take this 26% and then it's going to times it by 2, which is going to give you a bonus of 23%. So that will give us that 40 that 149% right there. And then it figures the luck bonus, which is going to be an additional 40%. It adds these two together and then adds it to this base right here. So in other words, <laughs> you're already getting 41% extra drops from just luck alone. And adding that uh, two times from that epic bonus, it just doesn't feel as big because you're already getting essentially a three times bonus over here if you look in your stats and you have max luck you'll see that you have a 2.8 uh, drop modifier so so since you already have all that bonus from the luck you don't feel the bonus from the epic as big but as you can see it does make a substantial impact over time it's, it's the difference between 167 percent and 195 percent it does make a difference it's just not nearly as big as you might like so in conclusion, luck is going to give you the biggest boost out of the two abilities. Certainly having the Gathering Epic down below will increase on top of what luck is already doing, but it's just not going to feel like you're getting double drop chance because you're already getting an effect from luck. If you don't have luck, then it should feel like a nice increase. However, I would probably recommend going for luck first because luck is going to affect both block and creature drop drops, whereas the Gathering Epic will only affect the surface resources. So I see the Gathering Epic mostly geared towards dedicated gathers, that that is pretty much the only thing they're doing, kind of like my stealth gatherer build, to where he's completely specialized for gathering everything above ground versus mining. And it looks like, oh, we got a visitor here. <laughs> But at any rate, I think that covers this video quite nicely. Certainly figured out uh, what's going on with the Gathering Epic and how luck and all of that is actually affecting everything. And was pretty interesting to look into. But this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time. Peace.